Hello there everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2, I'm your host Mr. Mocha Lover. In which, right now you can see we're taking out Bali. Now I didn't show you the beginning of the war just because I wanted time to get, go on and first and secondly, actually, the Dutch wanted to take out Bali first so we had to invade and go to war as fast as possible. Right now, uh, basically what I did was this army is not what it used to be. For example, actually because of all the, um, the population is too small to reinforce brigades, a lot of divisions died, I actually sent my navy over and grabbed our army from Basra and had them land on Lombok as the enemies were attacking us. So we reinforced our soldiers and then basically we killed them off. But right now it is 1852 and we gotta be ready because historically in 1853 there was a Crimean War between the Turks or the Ottomans, France and the UK against the Russians. So we gotta be really ready. Um, right now let's take a look at this. We're building up some more infantry, which is great. Some artillery, which is great. Because we're going to need quite a few armies. I mean, we've got one army right there. I'm going to actually pull you guys down here just in case. Our armies aren't looking great, but hopefully they'll be okay for whatever happens. So, I asked you guys yesterday whether or not we should take out Persia, like annex them. Oh, look at that. Oh, they rebels. Or just puppet them. So, what we're going to do is probably just straight up annex pieces of land bit by bit. So, we'll do that. Also, I built up, I believe, a lot of roads. Yeah, I built up a lot of roads in our empire here, so... Thought it would be also very, very good. And, yeah. Yeah. If I remember correctly, one of you guys said that slavery was ended in 1923 from the last episode. And also there was... Are we just finding someone else? Oh, we are just finding someone else. Ha'il. Ha'il. Oh, nice. I forgot about that. Well, that's the case. I don't want to... Mm, Ha'il. Um, we'll go down there then. I forgot I was just finding on them. I still have 13.8 infamy, so... Uh, what was another comment? I forget. Oh, someone recommends we take out all the small little European states, like probably Greece eventually. Wallachia, Moldavia, Serbia. Well, maybe not the Romanian states, just because, well, they already are in our sphere, and I'd rather take out Serbia, honestly. Uh, they just have northern Serbia, so. Maybe we'll see what happens. I, I can't guarantee anything, but we'll see what happens, most definitely. Oh, crap. No, this isn't good. Uh, we'll put these guys down first. How about that? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, crud. Oh, even more? Oh, that's, that sucks. Uh, well, that's okay. Go and do what you have to do, you know. Teach them a lesson. Hopefully we get down there before things happen. Ottoman schools. We're going to enforce Ottoman curricula. Never mind. Yes, we will. Better simulation rate. A little bit less research points. And we're... Get a flat amount of research points would be good. And it looks like something's going on down here. What's the UK doing? Uh, let's see. What is going on? Ottoman acquisition of Bali. Aust of course, Austrians still fighting the Hungarians. China has a Taiping Rebellion, just a lot of rebellions. And the second Opium War, okay. Tripoli. Oh, oh, we do have an army over here too. That's right. Um, hmm. But hop out here first. You guys can come on over. Losing quite a bit of money. That's okay for now. Well, obviously it's never okay, but... My goodness, you guys take forever to get down here. Man, we should build more roads. But we try. And also, we did get... We have Functionalism done, we have Hot Blast done, which is very good for steel and stuff, so... We'll see what happens, we'll get down here as fast as we can. Come on. Why does it take so long to get down here? Can't you... I wish you could just, like, force march these soldiers. Tensions dissipate, that's good, at least in East Borneo. And let's keep it high relations, or higher relations with the French. And the Russians, yeah! It's, you don't want to go to war with us, right? We're good with them. We were so allied to these guys. Austrians, we'll improve relations too, because we can. There we go. Not bad. Oh, do we actually do this? Nice. Would you like a peace deal? Well, yeah, let's go and just do it. Nice. There we go. Very good. Uh, actually, that's actually not too bad. Go and do that. Put one there. And actually build up your own army. That's kind of why I wanted them to, as well. Just because they have so many divisions or so much population that they can already afford this. So that's actually pretty good. You guys come on down here. Saxony broke their alliance, so be it. Keep our military spending high. Get these guys on a boat. And head on back to Egypt. Oh. And two Sicilies is still allied with us too, which is good. For now. For now. God dang it. Yeah, we gotta get Cairo. Come on. Come on, keep moving, guys. Oh god, I hate these rebels so much. My gosh, you take forever to move. Just move your legs. Come on. Thank God I don't live down here. Oh, they're just... They're leaving. 
Oh, they took over the, the what was the capital of Egypt. Uh, okay then. Well. Okay, well, I guess they were angry. They blew up stuff, and they can they then they got over it. Not bad. You guys head down there. Uh, actually, no, you guys go over there. That's fine. Good. All right. Up. Oh, okay then. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ha'il will be next, of course, like I said. And rebellion against Ottoman rule in Middle Egypt. Well, hmm. Oh my gosh, it takes so long. Why is it taking so long? Oh my goodness, it's so slow. Well, at least we're done with Bali. That's kind of nice. Now, Ha'il will be... Oh, hello. Gondar? Not yet. Not yet. Oh yeah, we can't even build roads up here because of the desert. Minus six. Holy crud. Explosives are, will be very nice. Actually, since we have $63,000, or pounds, I should really say. They should build some explosives here. They do have sulfur. And do we need sulfur? We need some fertilizer. Let's see. Oh, I got a lot of places here. So the Macedonia. Actually, what is this? Ismit? Manissa. Ismit. Aden. So Aden is... Oh, it's this one. Oh, we have we have fertilizer and glass. We need bullets. Yeah, why not? Be one of the major areas that we build stuff in. Keep an eye on our national focuses. Good. Very good. Administratively, our Turkish core Turkish provinces are looking pretty good. This Bulgarian province isn't too bad, and we'll do this one next. Encourage your bureaucrats. Alright, let's go and go to war since stuff down here is so bad. That's fine. So this way we can almost connect our area, then we'll go to war maybe with Kuwait eventually. We'll see what happens, of course, but you know, you never know. Come on, just take him out. Khartoum. You rebel, you die. And I can put you back on the boat over here. Oh, we have another division over there too. Nice. Very good. 47,000 monies. Oh, what is this? I Ionian Islands. I don't remember doing the Ionian Islands, but okay. I guess we'll take them over if we can, or increase relations, I suppose. Uh, Austria is still mobilized, that really sucks for them. <laughs> we only have three industry, oh my goodness. You know, we could do Carlos Spain, maybe influence those guys, maybe. That might be good. Rebellion against Ottoman rule in Western Desert. Sounds great, sounds lovely. You guys stay up here just in case. Bali, Lombok, so we gotta get some more stuff in here. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Good. Strong soldiers. Put them down. And this is taking forever, but you know what else is new? It's a desert. What do you expect? Like, seriously, what do you expect? It's just a desert. As far as I know, maybe I'm wrong. Could be more than just a desert. Rafa? Cool. Inspired nationalists, nationalists in the Ottoman Empire, inspired by the wave of liberalism in their neighboring nation, have risen up. Agitators were running through the streets waving flags and calling for the, their brethren to fight for freedom. Responding to the violence and could inflame the entire state, but Ottoman officials agreed that this could not be allowed to continue. Crud. Put them down, son. Put them down. Gotta need better roads. And we need better chemistry so we can get more population growth. Currently, our current population is about 22.52% Turkish, which is... Not great. I wish it was more, but you know. It is what it is. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, good luck with that. And my gosh, this is going to be so god awful. Tensions dissipate in Dongola. That's good. Alright, keep an eye on this because this is already pretty high already around here. That's good. Some tricks up here. That's good. Good. Nice cartoon. If you'd like to head up back up north, that'd be fine with me. Hmm. Still need a bigger military, though. We got one guy up there. I really don't trust the Russians. Put it back up to there. Good. And we're doing okay. Honestly, we could probably start lowering this a little bit. Ta tariffs are at a very high percentage right now. Unfortunate. Oh, hello. What is going on? Austria is fighting somebody else? Oh, Prussia declared war on Austria again. Oh, wait, what is going on? So it's... Oh, so Russia's fighting China now. And Prussia is fighting the Austrian Brothers War. 
Admit hegemony. Well, you know what? That's totally fine with me. Totally fine. I can't really afford too many wars. I'm really just focusing on ourselves for now. Since our industry and stuff like that. My goodness, we've killed up a lot of our own guys. Hey, if Russia doesn't want to go to war with us, just keep increasing relations, you guys. Did you break an Oh, you broke our alliance. God dang it. Belgium, would you like an alliance? No, I don't even want to ally you anyways. America? UK. We're buddies, right? No, okay. France? You really don't like us, but... Hmm. It's not very good for us, is it? Not really, no. 11.4%, not bad. Come on, just please take him out. Please take him out. I wonder if we can get some more reforms. It's been a while, actually, since we had reforms, so... Not bad. And we do need to get some more intellectuals. And we do need another focus uh, slot. National focus slot, so... Not bad, not bad. How about down here? Looking even better, even better. I mean, our population is going up, which I love, love, love. Hey, we did it. Oh, gosh, darn it, we didn't pause the game so we could maybe uh, get extra infamy cut down. But here we go. Very nice. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see. I would love to take out Persia. They're still uncivilized, but our military isn't that good. So, I think instead, I might just take out Kuwait next. I mean, we could take out maybe Serbia, but is there really any point to take out the Serbs? That only increase the amount of anger here against us. I mean, yeah, the Middle Easterners don't like us either, but still. I want to do that just to connect our provinces around here. They actually have Western presence, too. They're still uncivilized, which is nice. We can still kind of wait down here a little bit more, even though I like the population stuff. Uh, coffee would be so nice. I don't have any coffee with me right now. Let's see. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll take a Najed. Oh, but then they're allied with Bahrain and Oman. Just because... I think it takes at least two wars to take them out. Demand concession. Yeah, it would take at least two wars to take them out first. So, yeah, they have this area and then this area. So we need to take two wars. I think it's best to take Najed out. Just so we can continue taking in this territory. And then get over to the actual Indian Ocean over here. So, we'll go to war with Najed. And I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright, everyone. And here we are. Ready to go to war with Najed. Now, I did see some of the comments, including that we should attack Morocco, Algeria, and Georgia as well. But in time, we will. In time, we will. Early game, it's much more costly to take things. It takes more time for me to actually get the justifications done. As you can see, though, we're really close to getting organic chemistry. And right now, actually, I switched around our focuses. We're still doing bureaucrats in our places. But now, I'm trying to get more intellectuals in different areas, like Ankara, which is actually 2%. I'm going to give it there, leave it there for a little bit longer. But actually, we already have, like... 3% in Thrace, let's see, 1.6% in Thessaly, Huda Vendigar, 2.4%, Bulgaria, 2.3%, so we're actually doing, doing pretty well on intellectuals. Regardless, we must not go to war with Oman, Bahrain, and Nejd. Thank you very much, I'm not going to call any allies in, and also, Austria-Hungary, well, they had their time, and, well, they're not here. Oh, the North German Federation formed, nice, awesome. So, basically, Prussia forced Austria to admit hegemony. So, that was really, really good for, obviously, Prussia, which now these guys are going to be quite strong. Gaffa, no thank you. Cool, we got supply limits. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 12% of our population can read. I should really do more stuff with, like, biologism. Uh, other stuff here as well. War exhaustion. Edu oh, Darwinism would be very good to get. Uh, it costs so much, though. I think I might just want to get mechanical production just so we can build some clothes. It's so cheap. I need organic chemistry, oil, factory outputs, synthetic dyes. Military staff, though, I'm going to go with that one just because we need to at least get level one of everything, so. So, tensions dissipate. That's good. And actually, nothing else has really happened too much, honestly. Like, really not much else has happened. We're making a lot of money. This is good. Take these guys out. Take those guys out in the north. We should do okay. Russia never declared war. At least not yet. So, after this war, we'll probably continue taking out nations around here. Let's get all of Arabia. Actually, we might just start going to war with Persia as well. They do have 10 military score, but at the same time, they're still uncivilized. It's probably best to take the population around here, especially that coal. It'd be so nice to get. Oh! Okay, then. Not doing too bad. Lower some military costs again. Uh, keep it keep it about medium. That's not too bad. 800. Well, we can lower this just by a smidgen. Not too much. Just a smidgen. And actually, maybe I'll keep you guys right there. Especially if we build a naval base here-ish. In the Arabian Gulf, maybe. 
Can we build any more roads anywhere? Probably not. Infrastructure is pretty gosh darn bad around here. But, oh yeah, you guys were taking over. There you go. Cool, so then I guess I'll see you in just a little bit when we take out a portion of Persia. All right, everyone, and we are ready here, but we have uh, pr established protector Cassus Bella against Kuwait, not Persia. Now, we're not going to go to war with Persia because when I actually tried to, well, the UK said no, 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 no. And I can't fight the UK as much as we love the British. Their military score is pretty good compared to ours, and we're technologically not very advanced, but, you know, 0.9... And for me, I'll go along with it, why not? We're currently doing ideological thought because we need to get to nationalism and imperialism to do Manifest Destiny. And as someone's pointed out, we should have let Austria-Hungary win the war. Or we should have beaten Austria-Hungary and taken some territory to give it to Moldavia because we can eventually annex Moldavia once we have Manifest Destiny and nationalism and imperialism, even though it costs us 10 infamy. And the same thing with Wallachia, which is another 10 infamy. We do the same thing with Tunis, but... That's only two infamy. And Montenegro, but we'll get a war goal against them, but... We're going to need a lot of, a lot of uh, stuff like that. Infamy. I'm not even going to raise up my guys. I mean, we've been just making a lot of money. Uh, actually, does anyone care about these guys? We do. And we care about them so much. The reason I want to go to war with Kuwait is just because... It will just connect everything down here, so... This shouldn't take too long. For the love of God, UK, please don't come in. Uh, chemical wood pulp process. Very cool. And then we got some more population growth with germ theory and experimental pathology. Very awesome. I'm just worried that the UK will join in the war because, oh my goodness, I don't want them to join. Uh, regardless, actually, I'm going to go ahead and lower tariffs maybe a little bit more, too. Let's go to 60%. Nice. We make less money. We've got a good amount of money already. I like having a little bit of a stockpile anyways. And I've been building a few more factories here and there. That's why we're 21th, 21st in the world uh, in terms of industry, especially in Aden. Because, I, as you can tell, I built a lot of factories in there. So we got... You know, the fertilizer, some glass, we got. We want explosives, we want our small arms, we want steel, we want artillery. And that's actually a really good place for us just because it has, naturally has coal, sulfur, and some grain. So, and majority, vast majority is Turkish, and we really want to help out the Turkish people here too. So, because that's our, you know, core people, so. You never know, the, the Russians still could attack, but actually we're ex pretty darn friendly with the Russians. 100, 187 relations is pretty good. Uh, Bohemia. I am very tempted to attack them. I'm, you know, I'm probably going to attack them. And liberate some of the stuff with these guys. I think that would be okay. Especially if we can get some territory off of them. And that would make Germany, like, even better. Ooh, the Beoden Congress. Ooh, that's not good. So after this, we'll probably go to war with those guys. I eventually still want to take out more of this area. More of this area. So, if they're having this many problems... We'll probably go ahead and attack them. Maybe call in Germany. Maybe. We can't really afford too many wars. I mean, their score is level 8. So, we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Hopefully we can. But obviously, you'll know soon enough if we can or not. Cannot. Have right, we beat these guys yet? Nope. It's going to take a little bit more time. Also, let's keep an eye on national s focuses. You guys need some more bureaucrats. And I'm trying to get some more in intellectuals as well. In Greece, they're looking probably too good. Intellectuals looking good, looking good. Anything above 2% is what we want to keep. We're actually doing pretty well on intellectuals. At least 2% in every province is looking really, really good. Southern Serbia. Even them, these guys. Trebizon. Yeah, pretty much everywhere we have already 2% or more of the population are intellectuals. Which is great. Obviously, we're doing ideological thought as well, like I said earlier. So, for technology, Dobrugia. Uh, here we go. Have a few intellectuals. Thank you. It's a good thing people can't vote. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. It's a good thing they can't vote. For now. Can we suppress people? There's a lot of... Wow. Uh, suffrage? No, you don't need suffrage. Nope. Tensions dissipate. That's good. That's very, very good. I'm glad we haven't exploded yet. But now that I've said that, they're probably going to rebel. Oof. I haven't really conquered anything else in Southeast Asia as well. Just because there's, there's very, very few opportunities for us now over here. Which really sucks. I mean, maybe we can get up, come over... No, they're in the British sphere. Uh, why does the UK have to get involved with so many things? Oh, they're fighting the Spanish. Oh, we get some Hussars, too, if we really wanted to. Not bad. How's this war going? Oh, well, it just ended. What happened with the UK? Who did they beat? Why did they beat them up? I'm tempted to go down to Africa here, but... Uh, that seems like kind of okay. It seems maybe sort of a waste. Ooh, Cuba exists. The Americans will probably want that territory, though, eventually. Yeah. Oh, they're already 
allied to the Americans. And the reactionaries, go figure. Are we doing it yet? Nope. It's gonna take a while. We gotta take on a Jed. Alright, so they're not looking too Oh, now they just definitely raise their military power. Maybe we won't go to war with them then. Maybe Maybe Serbia. Maybe we'll take out Serbs. You know? Nothing never go wrong with annexing Serbia, right? Never ever anything bad could go wrong. They're still in our sphere too. I'm still gonna like them. Hello. Well, go and put them down, guys. Jacobins. No, 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 no. Hey, we got another national focus. Great. I want to do this one. We definitely got to get Darwinism support, ed more education. I think I'm, I'm just going to go here. I want mission to civilize. I want paternalism. Maybe. Uh, yeah, just... We got to speed this up a little bit more. But another national focus is not bad. Go and put some more bureaucrats here, too. I think it'd be great. We have authoritarianism. All right. What else we got around here? Dragoons, maybe? Artificial fertilizers, not bad. A little bit more output. And our money just hit the floor because we have rebels. <sighs> big sadness, big sadness. Oh, we're getting our money back. Yeah, we haven't had any reforms for a while. Our people are actually somewhat content. I mean, it helps if you allow people to leave your nation. So, 790, 700, 800 people are leaving every month. You know, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Let's see, you guys kind of like us. We're not allies. Oh, crap, that's not good. They're, uh, would you like an alliance? Oh, I'm not sure if I really want to actually ally those. So our Dini and Piedmont is not looking too bad. They probably they might form Italy, so. Belgium exists, and they're still a great power. So this is very weird, but whatever. Yeah, I definitely need to turn these into states. This is looking so bad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're looking so god-awful. Oh! 13% of our population can read, at least. That's okay, I guess. Um, where's that other army? Where did it... Well, I'm not sure why no one's taking you guys, or taking care of you guys, but whatever. And... Are they done with intellectuals here? Yes, they are. Alright, so... I maybe... Maybe more capitals? Maybe... Oh, there's quite a few Greeks on here, and... Sephardic? Oh, in Aden. So let's look at administrative map mode. Yeah, Albania definitely needs it. Bosnia definitely needs it. Montenegro definitely needs it. Not looking great. Alright, next up. I wonder if we can course some of these areas. It'd be kind of nice actually if we could course some of these areas. That'd actually be pretty good for us. Put down them rebels and we're making more money. Good, good, good. And here we go. Hey, our nutrition goes down. Chemotherapy. Sounds really nice. Now, you guys are hanging out. You guys allied with... Why would you choose Sardinia Piedmont over me? Why? We have a greater military than them. I mean, yeah, they have a much bigger in industry, but the procedures got awful. That making no sense. We could go fight them if we really wanted to, but I'm okay. Uh, would you guys like an alliance? No. Russia, would you like an alliance? Why are we so alone? No one likes the Ottomans. Oh, look at... Oh, so that's what happened. Basque country, huh? Well, that's not cool. But regardless, we're going to go and just find someone else and hopefully have a good time taking them out, which includes Serbia? Mm. They do have some coal, which is not bad. Coal and some grain. But do we really want more Romanians and Serbians within our lands? And some gypsies. Oh, no. I said the G word, gypsies. Hmm... I kind of want to focus more on these people down here, though. Oh, crap. How many people are down here? Wow. Well, they do have Western presence. It'd probably be best to take these guys out as fast as possible. We do have the Portuguese down here as well. Uh, there's nothing we can do down here, really. Uh, maybe we could get to Vietnam, but even then, they're already at war with the UK and Cambodia. Ah. Uh... I would like the Omani Arabian Gulf, though. I think that's pretty good. I think we'll just focus down here, maybe. We can, we can wait on these guys a little bit more. I think I'll focus on maybe Zaidi. But I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone, and here we are. Now we've gone to war with Sanusi. So Sanusi like rebelled, or actually didn't even rebel. They just came up. Uh, they came here. They became alive because of some god. There was some sort of event. It was kind of important to read, but not really. Not really that important. Regardless, the area became free. We declared war on them because the event gave us a free 
literal Cassius Belly and automatically went to war with them anyways. Take them out, have a good time with them, and we're pretty much ready already. We get some free territory. Now there's not that many people here. There's what? Less than 3,000? So, our guys don't like the desert too much. I don't know anyone that actually does. But at this point, we're almost ready to go to war with these guys anyway. So, I figured, let's just go ahead. And they have 6,000 soldiers. We got 12,000. Even though these guys aren't that great. We're still going to use them and have a good time. Hello, Kappa. Nope. Uh, well, just might as well go right on ahead, right? Savage Protector. Don't mind if we do. Head on right on in. Actually, is it just one province here? That wouldn't be bad. Hopefully we can win a battle without doing too much. Uh, let's see. Sardinia Piedmont is still a great power. So is Belgium. Russia. We still like us a little bit. Uh, you don't really want alliance. Just keep high relations with the Germans, because I think it'd be good to have the Germans with us. Morocco. I'd love to have an alliance, but you're on the opposite side. Oh my goodness. Cristinos. Who the heck are Cristinos? They got rebels all over the place. Spanish reactionaries? I'd hate to be Spain right now. I'll probably play Spain someday, but... Not any day soon. So we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. Cool. And they're going to go up north, whatever. I might need to pull another army down. I'll pull you guys over. So we're doing state and government right now. It's going okay. It's definitely going okay. we got to get a nationalism and imperialism. And I'm actually focusing quite a bit more on my focuses, actually. Like, we're trying to do Bosnia, get some bureaucrats up here. Albania, Montenegro, so... We're doing okay. We're definitely doing okay. Not great, but okay. Still want to build more military up. Uh, here are the taxes. I didn't even raise our conscription level. We still have 58% tariffs. Not bad. People... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Here. Why not? Two Sicilies S. Very good. Get our guys down there. I want more railroads. I want... I wish we could do more technology. I wish we had a better literacy rate. I think after this campaign, if I do Victoria 2 again, I think I've got to get or play as a nation that actually has like a good amount of literacy. Because before I, before this campaign, I was playing as the Tukular Empire, and we did really, really well. But I think I want to play someone who has a relatively high literacy rate already. Yeah. All right now, let's make another army that can be stationed in Egypt so we can better address other people. No conflict on Mount Lebanon. Following the years of servitude to Druze masters and heavy taxation, model knight peasants revolted against their masters on Mount Lebanon. They were met by Druze irregulars who were supported by the nobility. Conflict has engulfed the region with a number of massacres taking place throughout eastern Lebanon, and so this is only the beginning. Our officers are reluctant to get involved in Christian affairs, but nonetheless, moving their forces into the area, which we do. Petty conflict does not concern us. We must stop this conflict before it's too late. We lose 10 prestige. Ooh, all pops were all below. Must be Sunni or Shiite. Gain consciousness and stuff like that. Ooh, France. I don't want France to get interested in this. I don't want France to get involved and say, hey, stop perse perse persecuting those Christians and those Maronite people. So I'll take the hit to prestige. We're still sixth in the world. We'll get a little bit more prestige once we get this. And we do have Mecca under us too, which is really nice. So, mm, yeah. Yeah. Hey, we got uh, aerial serial uh, conscious That's not and rationalism. Okay, not bad, not bad. Honestly, not too bad. Oh, what the heck? <sighs> well, you know, they can have Mara. They can have that. I want. Def I definitely want Nijed around here, so. Nejd, Oman, hopefully. You know, they pro they'll probably end up being in the, the sphere for America. Or not America, the UK. We've almost got these guys. Come on. Istanbul, you're a lady. The group of colonies has... Turned Istanbul into a constantly expanding cultural and economic nave of an empire. Every day, with every passing hour, people from every conceivable corner of the world has made uh, made hours arrive in the capital to court of ministers, to trade with merchants, engineers, and industrialists, and to experience any one of the multitude of fates that Istanbul affords to the visitors. Saying Istanbul Central, one can see all around oneself a panorama, a pa panorama of the world. Here spoken all any and all of its varying tongues and languages of the world, and smell both the scents and the odors of very faraway lands and in the annals of the Ottoman Empire. The years around 1858 will always be remembered as a golden age of Istanbul, and many and may the memory live long. Uh, there we go, we got more prestige, for, even though we just lost some. All uh, pops in Istanbul, militancy, and consciousness. Great! That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Tensions dissipate. Cool. 15% of our population can read. Not great. Could be better. That's alright. And we got actually quite a bit of money. I like all this money. Now, I'm not exactly sure what else I should build in terms of factories. We don't have a lot of good RGOs. We do have some, and I don't mind building some, especially, like I said... Oh. 
Yeah, all that stuff. Cool. We built a lot in Aiden, which is great. I mean, let's look at the culture map mode. There used to be a bigger Turkish, uh, a bigger Greek population around here, but it's actually looking a little bit more Turkish now. Hello? Um, the Pope wants an alliance, right? This is a Pope. Uh, we already have two socialists. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, so what happens if we take over Rome? Hmm? What happens if we take over... Oh, oh, oh. oh, we can buy... Oh, yeah, I definitely want an ammo factory. That would be very, very important to make. Use that. So that's good. Thank you. Uh, Bahrain, we'll probably take him out next. Montenegro. Yeah, I'm not too worried about these guys. What was I going to do? Uh, let's see. Take a look. Nah, so pretty low everywhere there. Oh, I wanted to build a factory here. We got him. We might as well build a... Uh, and, yeah, we definitely want to build an ammunition factory. I mean, it, it's a perfect place to build it in Aiden. It's got all the other factories there. So we can never lose it. If we ever lose it, we're, we're kind of screwed. Uh, in addition, these guys, I've got to make sure that you got enough supplies too. So Nice. Yeah, I think after this, we're probably going to start working on Eritrea and this part of Ethiopia. Just because it looks like the British are definitely moving into Yemen. Unless we can take Nej. Because that would be very good as well. So, we can't quite get Persia like I said earlier. So I might just puppet them. I would love to annex them. But I think I'm going to wait, maybe until Great Wars are unlocked. And we can go to war with them. Oh, and they're going to war with the Mughal Empire. Oh, oh they're... You're aiding them to take that out? Wow. Oh, civil violence. Intervene eventually, of course. Why would we want to get involved? Now, I want to lower my infamy as much as possible because we're doing actually pretty darn well. So, let's peace. Can we peace out with them? Yeah. Can we peace? Thank you. And, that's why exactly... Ooh, we can... Actually, we can commission a warship. Uh, we could. That costs a lot of money. I don't want to lose that money. We definitely got to keep it. We could get a warship, but it's not really worth it, in my opinion. Search for the Aegean. We need social science. We lose some more money. How do we get this guy? Constitution monarchy, revolution, counter-revolution, citizen policy is not residency, all rights allowed. Oh, we could add so many more accepted cultures. Oh my goodness. That's actually not bad. Oh, we need a revolution and counter-revolution, but we're... Oh, we, we need a constitutional monarchy. So we probably need to let people vote to become a constitutional monarchy, switch parties for a little bit, and get all rights allowed for political rights. That would be so good if we can get those accepted cultures. That would be so good. So how do we do this? We also need... Yeah, nationalism and imperialism. And occupy the Syrian desert. Please. Revolution, counter-revolution, we gotta have it, so... But, commission of warship, that's okay. You know what? How about we finish the technology together, and then we'll call it an episode, because I'm gonna spend a little bit more time, get more things off screen, or, you know, getting stuff finished, and maybe take out... No, make it look at least a little bit nicer. Paraguay's gone bankrupt. Better pay off the debts. Not even sure how we even get down there, but whatever. And really focus on lowering our infamy. I re we really, really need less infamy. There we go. Another national focus. Great. I really want biologism. I ah, oh, there's so much I gotta do here. I would I want organic chemistry, factory throughput. Oh, I want oil. Oh my goodness. But we got to go with this one, and then as fast as we can, we got to go here. But, so we'll do nationalism and imperialism. So, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. It's about maybe half an hour long. I can't really tell. I forgot to record uh, using my stopwatch. But regardless, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As we'll continue expanding and trying to make the Ottoman Empire a better place to live. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.